Morning, morning, village, and welcome back to Vaughn's Littles. Let's see, it's your auntie, Auntie Vaughn, coming to you with another video. And I would also like to welcome all the new villagers to, as um coming to be a part of the village. Welcome, welcome, and thank you for coming and supporting. Also, if you're a door around here and you have not subscribed, Go ahead and hit that subscribe and notification. Um, click that subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss out on one of these videos um, that will be coming your way. Okay, today I wanted to show the village how to do a brine. I don't know if you ever heard of a brine. A uh, brine is used to... Um, marinate uh, meats and what I have is I'm going to um, let's go over here I'm going to roast this turkey I'm going to actually not, it's not a turkey a chicken who <laughs> could be talking about a turkey because usually they use brines um, on turkey so I've had this chicken I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and roast it for Easter Sunday I think I'll do that and then I'm going to um, you know have some other stuff along with it but this is the chicken. It's very huge. So, but today is Thursday, April the 14th. So I'm going to get the brine going. And the brine is water with other seasonings that you bring to a boil. You bring to a boil. You're going to allow it to cool down. You're going to allow the brine to cool down for uh, maybe a few hours. Then you're going to put your fall meat right now this is still frozen so my plan of action is for this is number one to do the brine let's go back over here to the brine um i got my pot of water and the pot is big enough to hold that turkey i keep saying turkey i must i'm gonna make some turkey wings too that's probably why i keep saying turkey because i did have in mind to make turkey wings along with this so i got my pot a large pot you can see how large it is and I got the water like three up to about over third of the um over half way up because you know when you put the the median it's gonna rise up more so what you normally do you over over season this so whatever seasonings you're gonna use um, utilize in your uh, brine you can use and these are the ones I'm using on today so um, let me see if I can find my measuring cup <clears throat> not that one not the liquid it's this one so and when you look at me use these ingredients you're gonna think oh that's way way too much but it's not it's just gonna marinate in these seasonings and then i'm allow it to um we're going to let it soak the day thursday this will be ready tonight i'm gonna put it in the chicken in the brine tonight then you refrigerate it you can refrigerate it for a few hours or you can do it for overnight which i'm gonna do so i got today thursday the brine tonight we're gonna put it in the refrigerator so that's gonna be thursday it's gonna stay in there all day friday night it's gonna be in there all day saturday and i guess all night saturday as well because i'll possibly get up on um, four day easter morning around about four three or four and begin the um cooking process of so that's a cup of salt mm -hmm. you're gonna use a whole cup of salt I'm going to use, like, I'm holding my um, thing, y'all, so bear with your auntie. Uh, I have to really get a whole new setup because I found out where that cloud was coming from on my videos. It's because the glass is broken on the thing, so it's broken right over the lens. So this is about a half a cup of pepper. It's going in. I'm going to use my infamous garlic powder. Literally all this going in. I have to buy some more because this 
number one. I'm going to put some mint scarlet, too, because I do have mint scarlet that I can utilize. Uh, which would be better, anyway. So, that's really not enough, so I'm going to put some mint scarlet. I got these are onion, minced onions. I didn't want the minced onions. I wanted onion. Excuse me, y'all. I wanted the, um... Uh-oh. Thank God it wasn't nothing in there. So I got my cilantro with lime. Let's get that. Give me a minute. I should have had it open. I'm so sorry, village. Auntie Vaughn is like, really? I don't know what the day going on. So hold the line, as I always say, hold the line. Okay. It's open. I'm sorry, y'all. <clears throat> Mint garlic out too while y'all waiting on that. Get the garlic out. Trying to. Ooh, my stuff just won't let me be great this morning, y'all. It won't let me be great. I pray all is well with everyone. They're listening. I find the sound of my voice and. For your day go great. Great, 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 great. All right, y'all. Let me get this mint scarlet. I'm just all over the place, y'all. So I have my mint scarlet. I've already put the cilantro and lime in there. So I'm going to just put that. As much that as would come out, don't matter. You're gonna really over season this brine, and a brine is any seasonings that you all would like to utilize. Come on, come on. Yeah, I want a lot because I love a lot of garlic. Okay, y'all see how that look? You want to bring this to a roaring. I'm so sorry for all this noise, all this dropping. I don't know. Lately, I've been just dropping stuff. Just dropping stuff. So, we're going to bring this to a roaring boil. And I'm going to actually have this boil for a couple of hours. And then, we will allow it to cool down for a couple of hours. Then, we're going to put in our meat and refrigerate it. Okay. So, I'm turning it up. Um, turning it on, and yeah, we're gonna cover it. We're gonna cover this, and again, this is called a brine, and it's gonna be to have a marinade for our meat. We will be back. Okay, village, we are back. As you can see, our pot. God, I must think I'm superwoman, honey. Our pot <laughs> is to brine, is to a roaring boil, roaring boil. So, since my um, chicken is really frozen solid, I am going to now cut the brine off. And that's brine, B-R-I-N-E. I'm going to cut it off and allow it to cool down. So, which is going to work perfectly because by the time this is completely cooled, my um, frozen chicken over here, let's go over here, should be completely defrosted. And we can dump, put it in. I'm going to, when I de when it's totally defrosted, I'm going to put, a, you know, little slits in there. So when it's inside the brine, it will um, absorb some of the um, the seasoning, the brine. But, and we remember, we're going to let it sit in the refrigerator. You're going to let it marinate in the refrigerator. For mine, it's going to be, it's going to be a total of about two days. But you normally have to just do it overnight or a day. Would is would be fine. That would be fine. So we're gonna do that. Gonna allow this to defrost. I'm gonna come back with the uh, putting the little slits in there and putting it down in our brine and put it in the refrigerator. Okay. So we shall return. All right, village. My um chicken is completely thawed out, and I'm gonna just put some holes in it. So when I put it in the brine. It can go through 
get some of the, that good flavor inside the brine, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, let's flip it. Oh, uh oh. Sorry, y'all. Flip it over. Now I'm going to get a knife. Get the big fork. Get the big fork. Get the big fork. Get the big fork. Because, there you go. We're going to put it in this brine. And get it. Let's get the brine over here. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt to do that. Let's get the brine. All right, Hold village, on. I got the brine on the table. I'm going to put this, uh, drop the tall chicken in there. Oh, I'm holding and doing at the same time. So let me drop it in there gently. And that's a wrap. It's completely there you go. It's completely submerged. Now, this is going to be in this brine for the next two days. Friday, all of Saturday. Then I'm going to like get up four day Sunday morning. And once you take it out the brine, now we're going to, I'm going to cover it, cover the pot. This is going to go in the refrigerator. And once you, um, it comes out the brine, you have to rinse all of this off or you're going to have some extra salty stuff so you're going to rinse it then season it to your liking and there you have it try it let me know if you're going to try it at home comment down below if you haven't heard of this before and until we eat again village god bless hey village we are back with our brined chicken it has literally been like a day and a half that it's been in the fridge um getting all these nice um seasonings and it's very juicy i'm quite sure so what we're going to do now on this part we're going to pour all of this out yeah we're going to pour it all out we're going to rinse off the turkey then i'm going to put it in my pan i'm going to cook it in and season it so i'm going to go ahead pour this out Rinse all of the outside off. You don't have to worry. All of that seasoning has been locked in the chicken. And it's a good size chicken. So I'm going to be eating on this chicken probably tomorrow for Easter. And then I'm going to make some chicken salad. I'm going to make some chicken fajitas. I'm going to make some chicken sandwiches. So it's going to take me all the way throughout next week. And which is fine because I'm still watching what I'm eating. So I'm going to go ahead, pour this off, rinse it off, season it. And I'm going to pop it into the oven at 250. My um oven is already preheated at 250. And I'm going to allow this to cook all the way through the night. When I um cook um for Thanksgiving, my turkey, that's just what I do. I um put it on 250, 275, my turkey. And it cooks all the way like that through the night. By the time I wake up in the morning, it's possibly done. Or I get up like 4 day in the morning. Most times I get up like 5 a.m. And because um, all of my sides have been done already. And I cook um, my turkey last. I, that's, that's the last thing I cook. And I'll do it like about 5 or 6 a.m. Put it on for 250 for about 6, 7 hours. Let it cook. So, um, and then that last hour though, I, I, um, bump up the heat till about, oh, three, seven, if it's a turkey, 375, 400 for this, um, chicken, it'll be like maybe 375, maybe 400. Um, but that's what we're going to do. And this is what we call brining. I hope you, um, learn something new. If not, you knew about brining, let me know down below. And I want to introduce a new segment that's coming to the village on Bonds Littles Let's Eat. We are going to be doing a Chop It Up with Auntie Bond, where I am going to be interviewing, um, doing some live interviews with some um, YouTube content creators, as well as some very well-known subscribers. So be on the lookout for that. But actually, next week, and I'm going to bring that video. So I'm not going to talk about next week. I'm going to bring that video coming very soon. All right, village. Remember, like, comment, share, 
If you new, subscribe. Until we eat again. God okay, Village, bless. this is when I rinsed it off with the brine, rinsed all the brine off, prepped it for the oven, and this is the final result. Till we eat again. Bye.